Oh my god, one of the African suffer, or <laughs> African suffer, no, sorry, one of the Madagascar hissing cockroaches laid her babies. So, I guess I will officially have Madagascar hissing cockroaches for sale. Depending on how many I got. I see two. I think I seen a third. But there's probably a lot more. There's two females up there. Or one male, one female. Yeah, I could tell that one female was really distended. The other day, <clears throat> one of the females was really distended. So I knew that this was going to happen soon. I have giant canyon ice deposits in here. I have powdered orange. And then I have a wild type millipede. And then I got five Madagascar hissing cockroaches, three female, two male. And now I have all the babies. There's one of the powder oranges. There's one of the lavis. Cockroaches.
Holy shit. Crantola. Where are they? Oh man, I missed them all. But there's still a ton. Wow. This is a colony of 25 when I got it. And I only put like five in here. Maybe ten. These ones can really climb glass. So I just have to pay attention. I watch the lid when I take it off. And I already do because I know my Lavis can climb. And I know they can all climb this back wall. Piece of foam board I had an idea with. Mainly because the glass is broken. But, you know, I don't care. I will fix every tank instead of throwing it out. As long as it's fixable. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hey girl. Looks like she's about to lay too in a few more days. Her scales are pretty distended. They bother me, but they don't seem to bother any of the other bugs. They're just unsightly to look at. And they climb. 